In this video, we will explain how to find the prime factorization of a number and how to use the memory in the scientific calculator, the fx991 ex class with. Note that you can find the prime factors of any number that you enter to the calculator or for any result that you got from any calculation. First of all, let's go to the first application. This is the first application, which is calculate, press equal. In the first application, if I enter any number, for example, 325, I want to find the prime factors for this number. Press equal, then press shift and this button, which is fact. You can see here F-A-C-T, which means factorization. You can see now this is the prime factorization or the factors of this number. Another example, if I have this calculation, I will get this result, which is 2,370. If I want the prime factorization for this number, we press shift and this bottom, and you'll get this is the prime factorization for the result. Now, how to use the memory? If I want to store any number in the memory, first, we have to enter the number, for example, 95. Then we press STO. STO means store. Then I have to choose in which letter I want to save this number. Note that I have these num letters A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and M. Now if I press, let's say, on this button, which is for B, means 95 will be stored in B. Press AC. This is another number, 32, STO, to store it. I want to store it in D, for example. I have to press this one, which is sign. You can see here, 32, now is stored in D. Press AC. Also, I can store any result for any calculation that I did on the calculator. For example, I did 98 times 5 plus 311 I got this result 801 I want to store this result in the memory press STO then choose any letter from these letters I'll choose let's say A so now this result is stored in the letter A or in the memory under letter A press AC now how to recall the values stored in the memory Let's say I need the value stored in letter A. I have to click first of all shift, then STO, which is recall. Here you can see the list of the variables in the memory. If I need the value which is stored in A, which is 801, I have to click this button because here I have the letter A. So here I have now A. If I click equal, I get the value for the variable A, which is 801. I can do calculations using A times 3, for example, and I will get the results. 